business owners, we're back today with our mini series on the new tax law discussion. Today is our last and final episode. So check it out. Hey, it's Courtney and Ryan here, and we're back with your weekly Money Minutes. And today we have back here Bob, who is an expert in small businesses, actually works right down here in our same office at Robert P. Russo CPA. Now we actually work with a lot of small businesses ourselves, and I get a lot of questions about, maybe I'm registered in this S Corp, and a lot of people are telling me, maybe I should re-register as a C Corp because of the new taxes that are happening, changes that are happening in the new tax law. Can you shed a little light on what is the difference between an S Corp and a C Corp? Is that something you should be looking to switch right now? And is that, especially with the new tax law, is that something we should be moving on pretty quickly? Yeah, uh, that's a great question, thanks. Uh, okay, in a nutshell, a C corporation pays its own taxes um, and it files its own returns and it's totally separate from the individual. In an S corp, the individual pays the taxes on the profits of the S corporation. The S corporation does not pay taxes to the IRS or New York State for that matter if you're an S corporation in New York. Okay? And only individuals can own S corporations, C corporations anybody can own. The significance of the new law is that the new law dropped the tax rate for C corporations. They used to have three brackets. Now it went flat, flat fee 21 percent. And in an S corp it depends on what your personal income tax bracket could be. So in theory if you're paying 37 percent tax on your personal return it looks like you'd be paying more taxes now at the C corp. But here's the kicker. Let's say you have a hundred thousand dollar profit from a C corp. You're going to pay twenty one thousand dollars tax, right? Great. So you got seventy nine thousand dollars left in company profits. You as a shareholder say, you know, I want to take some of that money out. To me, I'm going to spend. I'm going to take fifty grand. Well, guess what happens? You're now going to pay fifteen percent on that fifty grand at a minimum. Why? Because that's a dividend. C corporations are treated just like a public company. So if you have stock in GM and you get, you get a dividend from that stock, you pay tax on it. Same thing. So your tax rate just went from 15% to 36%. If you're an S Corp, your tax on that 100 may be 25%. So now you're paying more money. So it totally depends on the kind of business you're in. You know, many startup companies, for instance, if they bring investors in and they're looking to grow their companies and do an IPO or a buyout, C Corps are right. But if you're a small business S Corp with a couple of shareholders and you got payroll, it may not be the right place for you if you're looking to take money out to live on year to year. Yeah. So what I hear from you, Bob, is it's not that cut and dry for your situation. You have to figure it out with a CPA as opposed to just saying this is definitely an absolute to be a C Corp or an S Corp. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> If you want to learn more information about how to optimize your taxes, given the new tax laws, which are as clear as mud, uh, simply email the word taxes to info at paincm.com. We'll have Bob do a full tax review for you. And if you want to get our timely, insightful weekly content, simply go to moneyminutes.com, click on the link above or below. And as always, be bullish. bullish.